you badass server you. My name is Jennifer and this is I Am Waitress. In today's video we're going to talk about corks and why you present them to a table and what the heck they should be doing with the cork anyway. So the first thing you need to understand about corks is their uh, only job is to keep the wine safe from wicked bad air. And uh, if air has gotten into the bottle, chances are that the wine is bad. So there's a couple things that you're going to look for in the cork. Before I go on, if you open a bottle that is a screw top, it's called a Selvin closure, all rules go out the window. You don't present this to a host. You put it in your pocket. Uh, you can still pour the bottle of wine for him, but I doubt, 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 doubt it's going to be bad. This is not very romantic, but it does a hell of a job in keeping the wine safe. So, we have the cork. A couple things that your customer or you are going to look for. First is feel. You want to feel the cork, and if the cork feels dry, then it's possible that the dryness has shrunk the cork and prevented it from doing its job, which is keep it plump and, and uh, safe from air getting in the sides. So, feel. Two, the part of the cork that was in the bottle should be moist because it should have been stored properly on its side. A moist cork is tending to be an ineffective cork. And if this is not wet, then that's an indication that, again, it has dried out and let air in the sides and uh, turn the bottle, the wine, bad. Okay? Three, uh, wine threads. I like to call them ribbons of destruction, and you're going to see it, uh, it's much more visible with bottles of red because the color is red, but it'll be these little threads of wine from the bottom to the top. And if wine can get out, it's possible that air can get in. So these in and of themselves are not going to be 100% indicators that the wine is bad, but they are red flags. So when you pour when you pour the ounce of wine for your host to smell, they're going to they're going to want to really pay attention to that because it's possible that the that the wine that they're looking at is um, or smelling is going to be corked. So they're smelling for the mineral, the leather, the fruit, all these beautiful fl uh, flavors and aromas that are in wine. They're, they want to make sure that those those flavors and aromas are still there. If you're smelling newspaper or um, or wet dog or any of those things, then it's your wine's probably bad. Three, you're going to taste the wine and see if those aromas match the the smell. Um, chances are, if it smells bad, it's it's going to taste bad. And really, in my personal opinion, I think if you look and you feel and, and the cork looks great and the wine smells good, I don't even taste it beyond that. But that's your customer's choice. There is no reason to smell this. The only good thing about your customer smelling this is when they're smelling it, you can look and see if there's any threads there. Okay, So he's going to be doing the wrong thing and you're going to be doing the right thing by looking for the threads. And then if there's threads and he doesn't know what the hell's going on, then you can be the hero of the day and smell the wine and say, you know what, I think your, your wine is, is off. And then you can pour him another bottle and then you're like the most badass person in all of the world to that person right then. So, um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in uh, the comment section or get a hold of me and I am more than happy to help you or answer or add to if I've forgotten something. Okay? Thank you. Your next shift, I want you to make so much money that you freak out and text your friends. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.